2020 brought a flood of news on the COVID-19 virus. As most ocean-related topics became intertwined with the pandemic, the white paper on the oceans and ocean policy too became heavily focused on COVID-19. In a mission to bring back the excitement and inspiration of the ocean field, the Ocean Policy Research Institute invited Patrick Lahey to tell us his story behind Triton Submarines, a pioneer in deep sea explorations. Here is a glimpse of the rich possibilities hidden within the ocean deep. Why go deeper? Well, I'll tell you what, curiosity. When you look out over the ocean, you see this dark surface, your eyes can't penetrate it. But when you get in a sub and you go underwater and you turn the lights on, now all of a sudden you're looking at the ocean in a way that allows you to connect with it. So, uh, can you uh, briefly uh, introduce the company? We started the company in 2006, uh, seven, and we built, the first sub was a, a little two person sub that could dive to 300 meters or, or 1,000 feet. In 2011, I built the first of our, or we built the first uh, 1,000 meter three person sub with an acrylic sphere. At the time, it was the largest and thickest acrylic sphere ever built um, mm -hmm. but that was 2011 that sub ended up in the hands of none other than mr ray dalio and those of you who have been following what's happening in the ocean he started a program recently called ocean x uh, mm -hmm. as sort of a counter to spacex right. um, it's a very important uh, very bold initiative and we're super proud to be a part of it we went to the bonin islands and chichachima and we were filming of the giant squid and you know what a yeah, what a fantastic uh trip that was and how remarkable was it that we were able to not only capture footage of the giant squid in mm -hmm. its natural habitat for the first time in in history but we filmed it for you know nearly 30 minutes from 680 meters to 930 meters and Dr. Kubadera, who I'm sure many of you know, who's been studying the giant squid for his entire life, had never seen one in its natural habitat. So during this dive, you know, he came face to face with the animal that he had devoted his life to studying. And it was such a powerful and emotive moment. He, he, he wept. Mm. And you know why mm. he did? Because he was looking at this creature with his own eyes in real time. And you can't duplicate that with any yeah. imaging system. You can't duplicate that. I'm not saying that, you know, the ROVs and the AUVs aren't important. Of course they are. They're a critical part of the tools in the toolbox. But human occupied vehicles have a way to connect us viscerally with the ocean and to create powerful emotions and memorable moments that when they're shared with the rest of the human family can create incite excitement and advocacy and encourage others. Mm -hmm. And there's something really incredible about being in a submersible with a completely transparent pressure hull. You're not looking out through a little window. You're sitting inside of this completely transparent sphere, which mm -hmm. is made of material that has the same uh, characteristics in terms of its um, refractive index as water does. So when you submerge, it's like the hull vanishes. You suddenly feel like, wow, I am immersed in this environment. I could reach out and touch those animals. They could swim into this cabin. So as a result, the experience is very powerful because you really feel like you are there. You know, you are, and you are there. Probably. Uh, the new concept of Triton company is uh, like a uh, transparent cockpit and uh, you secure the, the full vision um, by observer in, inside of the submersible. Triton's full vision submersible uh, makes a very, very new world to observe the ocean, deep ocean. Triton. Uh, try to make the submersible capable of dive to deeper and deeper. Uh, 
So yeah, what sure. is what is your motivation to develop such a deeper and a deeper submersible? Why go deeper? Well, I'll tell you what, curiosity, right? Curiosity. Mm -hmm. As a diver, you know, you always want to go deeper. You want to see <laughs> what's beyond your physical reach. And so to us, a thousand meters seemed like a good sort of starting point because, I mean, let's face it, a thousand meters is a deep dive. Uh, it's, you know, not deep by comparison to, but when you think about the ocean in totality, with an average depth of 4,000 meters, with a, with a thousand meter sub, you're really limited to just exploring, you know, those near coastal areas, which are fantastically interesting. Um, but I think, you know, what drives us to want to build deeper uh, diving subs? I would say it's summed up by one thing, just curiosity. When you look out over the ocean, you see this dark surface, your eyes can't penetrate it. You can't see it. It's not like when you you know, you stand on the beach and you look up at the stars and they're twinkling and you can imagine all the wonderful things that are happening out in space. But when you get in a sub and you go underwater and you turn the lights on, now all of a sudden you're looking at the ocean in a way that allows you to connect with it. From scientist's point of view, what is so you know, important about just you being there? You know, we have a tremendous capacity to take in information um, through our eyes and, and with our senses, you know, when we hear things, we see things, we touch and feel things, uh, you know, we're sensory beings and being there in real time uh, is, I think, critically important to scientists because I think we need to bear witness. We have to see these things, <laughs> we have to experience them in real time. And, and you know, then we can tell the stories to others and, and encourage more people uh, to, uh, to take an interest in our oceans as you can take more people yes. down so they can see the ocean and, and connect with it viscerally. Like I was saying, that's how you're going to create advocacy, but also through the production of great documentaries, you know, storytelling when, when people watch, uh, television series like the giant squid documentary, or when they see things like blue planet, and they see people inside subs and they get to see the perspective from inside. It's not the same as being there, but it's a great way to create interest and excitement in our oceans. If you wanted to have some last uh, words to the Japanese audience, particularly, I guess you, you already touched upon some of the important messages on for the students and the young people in Japan. Anybody in their life should find that thing that they they love. In my case, it was the ocean um, and still is, I might say, I might add. But find the thing that you love, you know, work hard at it and success. However, you define that is the inevitable result. And I didn't know I'd end up building submarines. So my advice to anybody, young person in particular, is follow your bliss. Do that thing you love. Do that thing you're passionate about. Don't give up on it. Work hard at it. And, you know, you eventually reach your, your goal. I, I believe that very much so.